Welcome everybody, Chris Cards back with another Through the Mail Monday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Our first return today comes to us from Kansas City. And it's um, almost opened. Let's just open it this way. There we go. We've got some vintage in here. We've got Bob Speak. Bob Speak sent him a 56, 57, and 58 tops card, which he signed nicely there in ballpoint pen. Just missing the 59, which I believe is his only other trading card available. He played from 55 to 59, two years with the Cubs, two years with the Giants. Started off as a first baseman, but got his crack in the big leagues when Hank Sauer went down for the Cubs in 1955. They asked uh, Bob if he could play the outfield, and he lied and said yes, he could, and you don't say no when you're in his, his position, so he played the outfield for a few years and became an outfielder, so pretty cool guy. He retired in 59 after his last year with the Giants, uh, only 28 years old, went on to become a successful businessman. In fact, he came into the bowling industry when the automatic pin setters were just becoming invented, so he made a lot of money in that. He also did some insurance stuff, but um, parlayed his baseball career into a pretty nice business career. Started off in Class D in 1949 in the KOM League. That's the uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri League. It's a Class D baseball organization. Led that league in 14 home runs that year, beating out another guy who only had seven by the name of Mickey Mantle. Mantle would get the best of him career-wise, but Bob Speak had his number there that year in 1949. And there you guys have it. Bob Speak and a bunch of random facts. Let's move on to the next return. All right, gang, return number two for the day is coming to us from Phoenix, Arizona. Probably a nice place to be in November. We've got Henry Cotto right there, signed my Tops winner's card. Henry Cotto played 10 years in the big, six with the Mariners, three with the Yanks. He was an outfielder, played all three positions. Pretty decent little player. Had much longer coaching career than a playing career. He spent 15 years with the Seattle organization. And now I do believe he's with the Giants as a roving instructor and now an Arizona League Giants manager. He has aspirations to be a big league manager or a coach one day. Signed very nicely. There's an 87 tops Tiffany. There's a nice bright back. So that's pretty cool. That will go into the 87 top set. Sign the 89 upper deck set card as well. Pretty stoked about that. Has a ton of cards. Little smeared on the 89 upper deck. That's unfortunate. Maybe you have to redo that one. If it wasn't my set card, I'd let it go. But can't have a smear in a set, especially when it's an easy signature to get. So there you have it, guys. Henry Cotto on to the next. Our third of four returns for today comes to us from Richmond, Virginia. Let's see who we got. And we've got uh, my letter of request and some blank index cards. And we've just got about one or two cards in here from the feel of it. And we've got Michael Kadire. Twins Hall of Famer Michael Kadire. Played with them for 11 seasons. 15-year career, two-year All-Star. His best season came in 2013 when he was, of course, an All-Star and the batting champ. Played in his first World Series with the Mets in 2015. Signed a two-year deal with the Mets in 2015 for 23, 24 million bucks. Retired due to injury. Did not play that second year, which was very nice of him. I'm sure the Mets paid him some of that second-year money. Otherwise, he could have just sat out and collected it, so... Probably got paid anyway, but very nice of him, at least as far as the Mets are concerned, since they're, they were broke back then. They could uh, have a little more payroll flexibility with him off the books. Michael Kadire uh, just signs one card, so do not get greedy with him. He signs one card, and he takes uh, takes a little while to get back to you. So, But a great signer. Awesome looking card. Twins legend. On to the next. Final return of the day is going to be a private signing here in a bubble mailer. Three cards, I do believe, for my 84 set and my 87 set. A very tough signature, unless you want to spend some money, which 
I did. We've got George Hendricks. George Hendricks, 18-year career. Notable years with St. Louis. Four-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger. Won the World Series with the A's in 72. And with the Cardinals in 82. Had a cannon for an arm throughout Robin Yunt in Game 7 of the 82 World Series at third base. Very tough signature. During his playing days, he would sign nothing. He and Mike Marshall were probably two of the hardest to get back in the 80s. And he still doesn't sign through the mail, but this was a private signing. The Cardinals cards cost 25. The non-Cardinals cards cost 40. So he liked his time with the Cardinals, in so much that he charges more for non-Cardinal cards. So, Unfortunately, he had two 84 cards, the All-Star card and, of course, the base, and then the 87 Tiffany I got signed. I still didn't send him my 74 Tops card, where he's in the Indians uniform, so... Still have that one to get from my set. Like I said, these sets could get expensive, and guys like George Hendricks are why. There's probably a few more out there like that I have not run into yet, but there you go, guys. Join me at the end of the year when I put all of my cards, all of my set cards in their binders, respectively, 87, 84, and 74 tops, and 89 upper deck. That Those should be fun videos. I'm looking forward to it because I, I kind of want to... Uh, see the the binders fill up with the um, with the autographed cards and I've got quite a few 20 30 maybe for each set maybe a little more than that so that's it guys for this week's through the mail Monday thanks for joining me hope everyone had a great weekend hope everyone has a great week join me on Instagram Chris cards 86 I post pretty much every day whatever sort of video I'm working on or TTM related stuff I'm on my quest to 1000 send offs for the 20. 20 i think i'm about 140 short so my my goal is to pick up those 140 between now and of course new year's day and i will keep track of that journey on the instagram where i show you who i send off to and attempt to get to that 1000 goal i'm sure i can i'm going to try and make them uh, unique players i have not gotten before so Trying to make it a little more difficult on myself, but that's the goal, and I'm going to try and follow through with that. So that's it, guys. Through the Mail Monday, in the books, number 97. Getting close to number 100. That should be exciting. And uh, that's it, guys. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Let me know what you thought of these cards down below. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Do this every single week, every Monday, Through the Mail Monday. And um, we'd love to have you join us each and every Monday. Hit that notification icon, that little bell, just so you are notified when we do pop up that video. That's it, guys. Done rambling. Hope everyone has a great week. See ya.